Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MS Active webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to manage domain user accounts in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. This is a third video of this mini video series on how to manage domain user accounts in Active Directory. Let's look at the settings which mainly used for Active Directory users password and account management. For example, resetting user's password, disabling the user account etc. If the user forgets his or her password and attempts to log on, he or she will receive a logon message the password is incorrect try again before the user can log on successfully you will have to reset that password you do not need to know the user's old password to do so let's go to our windows server 2022 domain controller sign in as a member of the domain admins group or you can sign in as a member of the account operators group from the server managers tool menu select active directory users and computers to open active directory users and computers snap in look at the ou that contains your user account in this example we are going to use the sam cooks user account which is stored under india marketing ou we will reset the password for our user sam cook right click the user account and select reset password enter a new password and confirm it by entering it again make sure that user must change password at next logon is selected this will force the user to change the password at next logon and set the password of his or her choice click okay you will receive confirmation that the password of the selected user account has been changed successfully click okay Give the temporary password to the user and ask him or her to sign in. Let's go to Domain Join Windows 10 Computer again. Click OK. Sign in again with the Sam Cooks user credentials. Enter the new password and hit Enter. User will be asked to enter new password as we have selected force user to change password at next logon option. Click OK. to update the user password enter the new password and press enter key to update the password the password has been changed successfully click okay to sign in user is able to log in successfully with the new password which he or she has set up user accounts are security identities that can be given access to network resources because each user is a member of domain users and of the authenticated user special identity each user account has at least read access to a vast amount of information in active directory and on your file systems therefore it is important not to leave user accounts open you should configure password policies and auditing and procedures to ensure that accounts are being used appropriately If a user account is provisioned before it is needed or if an employee will be absent for an extended period of time disable the user account restart the windows 10 device and go back to windows server 2020 to dc to disable the user account to disable an account in active directory users and computer snap in right click the user and choose disable account If an account is already disabled the enable account command will appear when you right click the user right click the appropriate user and select disable account you will receive confirmation that the object has been disabled click okay there will be an icon in front of the username that is indicating that these user accounts are currently disabled since the user account is now disabled user cannot use this account to sign in let's again go to domain join windows 10 computer let's try to sign in with sam cooks user account let's press ctrl alt delete key combination to unlock the windows 10 device sign in with sam cooks user credentials enter the password and hit enter 
If an AD disabled user tries to log on to any computer in the domain, he will get this error. Your account has been disabled. Please see your system administrator. So if the user account is disabled, the user is not able to sign in to any Active Directory domain joint computer using that account. Let's enable the user account. Let's go back to our domain controller. Right click on Sam Cook and select enable account. You will receive confirmation that the object has been enabled. And now we don't have that icon anymore. Go back to Windows 10 computer and try to sign in again using Sam Cook's user credentials. After entering the password, hit enter key. And this time, Sam Cook can successfully log in to this Windows 10 computer. Create a text file on desktop and put some random text in it. Create a shortcut to open command prompt. Let's see the process to rename the user account. Renaming a user account is convenient when an employee is replaced by another employee. Adoption, marriage or mistakes are the most other common reasons to rename the user account in Active Directory. A user account is not simply a name and password. It is also a set of permissions and group memberships and therefore, when you rename a user account, verify all the user object's attributes. Open File Explorer. Click on this PC. Go to C drive. Double click on Users. Here, we can see the profile folder of a user, Sam Cook. Based on user's logon name, sam.c, user's profile folder name is also sam.c. Remember, at this point, we don't have a roaming profile configured for the user account and neither we have a home folder configured for our user Sam Cook. Let's restart this Windows 10 device and go back to Windows Server 2022 domain controller. To rename a user account, right click on it and select rename. Type the new common name for the user and then press enter key. The rename user dialog box prompts you to enter additional name attributes. The full name maps to CN and name attributes. We have changed user's first name and last name and based on that first name and last name, user's display name is also changed. Now we have to decide whether we want to use old user principal name to log on or want to assign a new user logon name to this user account. I'm going to specify the new name which is going to be JOS.S based on our naming strategy. Click OK. The Active Directory domain user is renamed and listed inside Active Directory users and computer snap-in. With rename, you can also reset user's password and give the new temporary password to the user to sign in. Since we have already seen the steps, I'm not going to do it again. Let's go to Windows 10 computer. Click on other user, enter user's UPN, which is jaws.s at msftwebcast.com, type user's password and hit enter key. Still, it shows the display name Sam Cook. We can see the text file and shortcut icon on the desktop. Right click on the text file and select properties. Click on security tab. This file was created by Sam Cook. But here we can see the JAWS Smith has a full control on it. Click on Advanced. This file was created by Sam Cook and earlier Sam Cook was the owner of this file. But now JAWS Smith is listed as an owner of this file. We can confirm that the user has been renamed successfully, but the user's SID has remained the same. The same permissions and rights that were given to Sam Cook are given to Josh Smith. Click OK. Uh, let's click on OK. Click on Start Menu. Here we can see the name. Sorry. Here we can see the name of our user and it is Josh Smith. So we can confirm that we have successfully renamed the existing Active Directory user Sam Cook to Josh Smith. And using the new user logon name, we have logged in successfully to our domain join Windows 10 computer.
I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.